Hi everybody, welcome back to this one. My name is Goody and let's pack my pencil case. As some of you may know, I got into grad school and I need to pack a pencil case even though we're gonna start online and maybe develop into like in-person classes. But I still want to have a pencil case just so I can have everything readily available to me while I take classes and take notes and do my revision notes and everything. Yeah, and I should probably and I should probably do it soon too because like grad school starts in like two days, so yeah, I'm kinda late to like pack, but whatever. I'm in my house. Uh I'm kinda bummed about it to be honest. Like I'm really nervous. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's a new environment and I'm really, really scared. I already thought of dropping out like three times, but I can't do it. I have to keep moving forward. So yeah, let's pack my pencil cases. I'm gonna be using two for this semester. I'm gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna be using this one from Milan from my back school haul. And I'm gonna also gonna be using this one from Toto. Ooh, this big one. This is just gonna be in case I wanna bring in the odd case that I only have papers and I don't do like revision notes apart from those papers, like textbooks papers, I mean. I'm gonna have this one full of highlighters and stuff like that and this one is going to have my essentials. That's it. I, I, As you guys can see there, th there's my Alex 9 drawers from Ikea. Those are filled with my stationery, so let's go pick it up. So here's basically my, my entire stationery and my calculators included and I also have a little few drawers right here. This is everything that's open right now. Uh, there's just some cups and some um, things that used to be candles. These are my highlighters. Both of these are fine liners. These are the Crazy Art Super Tip ones. And these are just pens. Mostly here are ballpoint pens and a few gel ones. Here is some miscellaneous stuff. Uh, mostly sharp stuff, so yeah. And the first class that I'm going to have on Thursday is going to be scientific method. And for me, I don't know why, I think of that class as the clerical green. So I think I'm going to be doing a green scheme for this, like for these notes. I'm going to start off with like highlighters. I think I'm just going to, I want to finish my pilot fiction ones. So I'm going to take all of my Pilot Fiction ones and put them here because this is where I'm going to transport stuff. I also want uh, the base of my notes to be in gray. So I'm going to take that. Um, what else? What else? What else? I think from these ones I'm going to take a few green markers and this aqua one. Oh, I'm also going to take my my liner brush pen in green because I already started using this one what else um for my class notes I think I'm gonna do them in black so I have those there um maybe bring these two C grip pens in green what else what else um I feel like I should have something red, so I think I'm going to take my paper make enjoy in red. And also I think I should have a blue one as well, just in case. And yeah, I think that's all for pens right now. That's gonna be it for pens. Uh, here I have other stuff that's also opened, including a bunch of like pencils. I don't think I'm gonna take pencils because I'll probably take one or two because I think all of our exams are going to be online, so it's not used to having a pencil. I'm gonna take these sticky notes from our Tesco that are shaped as hearts because I like that they're really big. So I'm taking those as well. I'm taking the small ones from Post-it. I'm also taking my Tombow correction tape. And that's it for this. And this this is a drawer that has everything that's unopened. So this is everything that's new. Just have a few pens there. 
and I'm going to be taking my craft bond tape runner from the miscellaneous pile I think I'm going to take a ruler and my scissors also I think I'm going to take a permanent marker here because I remember that in labs we used to do in, in my bachelor we used to label the glassware so I'm just gonna take that in case in so if I ever have to go to a lab in person I can just take my pencil case as it is so yeah and so now I have you guys in a new angle so let's start by getting rid of the tags I've had these tags all summer because I kept them because I wanted to do a video so now I can get rid of them I like this pencil case a lot because it has this little net here for everything you need. Uh, I'm going to pu put my miscellaneous stuff here. I'm going to start with, of course, the scissors, the ruler, um, the correction tape. The tiny sticky notes I have a knife I have a knife from our Tesco because sometimes it's easier to cut with a knife than with a scissor in the lab so I think I'm just gonna keep it here just in case and yeah this is full already so now let's go with this Here I have my paper mate ones, I have my Stabilo ones, I have my highlighters here. I have my markers here. I think I'm gonna have my pens before the markers because I tend to grab the pens bef first before the markers. Then the rest of my pens and the pencils. Hmm. I think I'm missing a few things, I'm not gonna lie. I feel kind of weird not having the entire array of colors in pens. So I think I'm just gonna take the rest of these Papermate Inkjoy ones and put them here just so I can feel like there's a lot more things here. The reason I'm using these Paper Make Enjoy ones instead of pens that I actually like, it's because I want to use these ones up as fast as I can, so I need to get rid of them. So they're going here for my first few weeks. And then my sticky notes. And finally, my adhesion tape and let's see if it closes oh no it's not gonna close so I'm gonna take out my knife So yeah, this one closed. I'm so happy about it. Oh my god, yay. Okay, so I almost forgot to add these 4A Advanced Ink Ballpoint Pens in 0.7 millimeters because these are the ones that I use for my lab. Okay, you guys, so I forgot to add these pencil grip ones because I write like a caveman and the way I write is super... is by pressing down really hard on the pens and pencils and it ends up hurting me at some point so I'm just gonna take a couple of pencil grips for my pens and that is it so now I'm all set with all my bags and stuff so let's see if it closes okay so it needed a little help but it closed fairly well and it's full look how chonky it is it's so pretty it's so chonky but yeah this one is done 
Now for my Toto one, let me get this off. So oh, I don't have a lot of plans for this one, not gonna lie, because it's pretty big. So I think I'm just going to be adding my knife just in case I ever need to leave for a in-person lab. I'm going to be adding my calculators as well. Okay, so this is my Texas Instrument TI-30X2S. And this is my Texas Instrument TI-83+. Plus. I'm going to be taking both of these with me because I just like them a lot for individual tasks. So I'm taking these two as well. And if I ever need to print out a lot of papers that I can't make revision notes out of, well, I'm just going to be taking the rest of my my liners with me and I'll just put them in this pocket right here that's empty right now but so far I'm not gonna take them because I want to finish the pilot friction ones first so yeah I think that's it I think I'm all done with my pencil cases so that was all for my video I just packed away my pencil cases in my backpack because I'm going to keep all my notebooks that I'm using for this semester in my backpack just so I can just have like an easy access to things like take things out put things back in whenever I need them and yeah I'm going to be doing a first day of grad school vlog I only have one class because uh, one of I have four classes one of them uh, doesn't have a start date and two of them start in September and only one starts like this Thursday so I will be uh, filming a vlog for you guys it's gonna be really quick and easy easy probably I'll just take you through my day like me waking up eating breakfast, working out, I have to go to Costco to run some errands for my grandma, and then I'll sit down to take my class, do some notes, and then I'm going to be doing, immediately after class ends, I'm going to be doing some revision notes, and yeah, I want to be as quick as possible when with like writing notes and stuff, because I don't want to think, I don't want things to pile up, because that's the thing that causes me more stress, and I have to stop my thoughts from going on a rampage in my head so I need to keep myself organized with like a plan and stuff I'll do all that stuff on Thursday so I hope you guys stick around and I hope you guys like this video what's the most useful thing in your pencil case like tell me down below for me I think it's highlighters to be honest I think I use highlighters more than I use pens because sometimes I don't tend to make revision notes I just print out the, the book and the chapters and the powerpoints and just highlight stuff and yeah, that is the most useful things that I have in my pencil case are my highlighters and my sticky notes. What about you guys? What's the most useful thing in your pencil cases? So yeah, that's it. I'm going to leave my Instagram down below if you guys want to follow it. I know that in... I have two Instagrams, just so anybody's like, tune in. In the one that's called the Goody, the Goody Zone, the same name as my YouTube channel, that's the one where I, t I tend to post a lot of like studygram stuff. So if you guys want to see more of like my notes for especially like French and Italian and my class notes is going to be there so yeah I hope you guys have a great day great weekend great week great month great life I'll see you guys next time bye